Hello. Today I want to try um vegetable patties or empanadas, however you want to call it. Vegetable stuffing. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, I bought these little things. I saw it and I bought it. These dumpling molds. So I'm just going to wash it, open it, wash it, and then place my filling in it. So I have vegetables. These are carrots, onion, garlic, some um, pieces of ghost pepper, salt, thyme leaf, and it, oh, parsley. And that's about it. So I had marinated overnight because I don't want to fry it and then add it in there. It's too much cooking. I'm going to bake this, so why do I have, I have to cook it first? So let it stay raw like that, and then I'll stuff it in. And then my filling, I don't want to use wheat. You know, I, I don't like wheat. So here's my purple corn flour, flour. I'll add water, salt, and some garbanzo, garbanzo flour, chickpeas flour. I'll add some of that and see how that works. I never tried it before, but I don't want to use flour. That's why I'm making this, because I'm tired of buying these things with all these flowers in it. You know, I don't eat flour uh, a lot anymore. Okay, I mixed my garbanzo flour, the corn, pink, purple corn flour, some water and salt and oil to make a little dough. That's what it looks like. Then, I took out one of those dumpling molds, and I place some oil on it. Where's the mold? Here's the mold. I place oil on it just so it doesn't stick. That's just what I wanted to do. Okay, now I'm looking at the back of this mold thing and it has instructions how to use it. So let me flip it over. It says, yeah, place your dough there, open it, and then place your dough like that. And then two, place the filling, and three, you fold it. And that's it, and then you bake whatever you want. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna place my dough in there, and then filling, fold, then bake. So here's my filling again, and everything else. So let me do that now. This is like playing with Play-Doh, you know, because it's not flour. Flour I've been finished a long time ago, but I don't want to use flour. So I'm just trying it this way with purple corn flour and garbanzo flour, salt, and water, and some oil. So you have to keep measuring it, you know, mixing it until it doesn't stick. So I got it like that. It's on the mold. Now I'll try to place it in there. It's just like Play-Doh. And instead of using this plastic thing, you could just use the bottom of a bottle. That's what I usually do. Here's a bottle. Use the bottom and just press it down like that. Press it down and it forms a circle. And then you press it again for another one. You just put, them on, put the filling on one, right? And then what? And then press it again. Press the dough down again. And then you just get another circle and you place it. And then you get your fork and you make those little designs. That's the easy way, but I'm just trying it with this mold. I think I might go back to my glass bottle way. Anyway, here's the mold. So now I'll just go and add the filling. Let me add this filling while I'm talking. Wait. It's kind of hard. Let me stop. Here, I added the filling. I think I added too much. <laughs> okay, I'll just see what happens when I flip it over. Be right back. I don't even know why I bought this um mold thing. Because I already made a circle. All I need is another circle and place on top and I'm done. But I'm trying fancy. <laughs> you know, I don't know why. I would... Anyway... I flattened out my filling. Now let me uh, flip it again. Let me see. A sheer mess. <laughs> I had too much filling in it. I should just left it and just did it my own way. 
Anyway, that's what it came out looking. I had too much feeling. It started dripping. It dripped in my bowl. Ah. Okay, it was a sheer mess. So, I'll just go back just and make it without the plastic mold. I'll try a different flower, but, you know, I had too much. It was too watery, kind of. My vegetable filling was too watery. And anyway, just, you know, it was my first time trying it. That's why I'm just showing. So here it is. I salvaged it. And these are the pieces that didn't work. So what I'll just do is I'll just make my mold without the molds. And I'll show you how it looks like on this pan. And I'll place it in my toaster oven. And voila. I'll eat it. Okay, let me go do all that. I'll use it with my hand without this um, plastic mold thing. Don't worry. It works, but... It didn't work for me today <laughs> with this flour you know it's a soft flour it's not like wheat flour that's so durable that's why wheat is so durable because it's they put I don't know but this corn flour and garbanzo flour is very pliable too pliable and I, I don't know doesn't matter because the filling is in that little one over there let me just go do it with the hand old-fashioned way Here's one I just did with my hand. I'm not even going to use the bottle because I want to finish this. So I just pressed down with my hand and I placed some filling in it. See, I had added water to the filling, so that's why I got watery. Eh. I, was, I went a little, added a little to my anyway. So I just add some. And then I'll fold it over and that's it. And I'll bake and I have two already so it's just quicker it's just me to eat it so I'm not okay I just hand did it <laughs> I know it doesn't look um eh you know it looks it's good enough for me as long as it tastes good and it does taste good I could taste it raw but I don't want it raw so how many did I get one two three four five six seven Okay, and tomorrow I'll use the same the leftovers and I'll just try it again and see what happens. But for today, I don't want to, you know, I'll just place it in my uh, toaster oven for like 20 minutes and, I'll sh and it'll look just like that, but cooked. Okay, I have it inside the, um, my toaster oven. It doesn't look like patties, but they're patties because, you know, uh... I added too much water in my filling. I don't know why I did that. Sometimes that's what cooking is about. You make mistakes. But I normally, I don't know, but I don't know why I did it this time. So it's gonna taste the same. <laughs> as long as it's edible. Okay. I removed the mouth of the toaster oven. Ah, uh, it tastes great, but the dough, it's a little tough, you know? Cause it's just tough, the dough. So I have to work on my dough. Otherwise, it tastes great. The filling is, like I said, marvelous. Just need to work on this dough because I don't want to use wheat flour. Thanks. It didn't uh, work so well with the purple corn flour and garbanzo the other way. I'm trying it the other way. Instead of having a lot of purple corn flour, I'm going to do it the other way and have a lot of garbanzo flour, so that's what I have, and purple corn flour and salt. And then I'll add water and oil and make a batter, a dough, and see if that makes it better. Okay, let me go mix it. This one tastes better. The other one with more purple corn flour was so heavy in the dough. But the one with this one with the more um, garbanzo flour, it's more lighter. So I'll use more garbanzo flour instead of purple flour. And a little bit of purple flour. It tastes better. I know it. I just took it out of the oven. Okay. Thanks. Bye. I'll keep trying until I find a a good balance instead of using flour.
because I'm tired of flour. This tastes great. Bye. Again.